Look at my ceiling fan converted into a flower yard spinner. Look how fast it's moving. This is how windy it is today here on Bay City, Michigan on December 30th, 2019. Well, let's go in the back. Yeah, these we... little luxuries, arts and crafts YouTube bringing to you a cup of coffee today and a DIY craft. If you had watched my video on how to make the angel out of a traffic cone, I mentioned in that video that for the halo, I was looking for a specific item, and I found it today at Dollar Tree. I found it today, December 30th. Oops, it's not Sunday. It's Monday. And these are the ones that this is what I want to use is called a, a craft stem. I said it was a fuzzy, fuzzy thing. I don't know, but that's what it's called a craft stem. So anywho, this is what I wanted to use for the halo. <laughs> and if you watch my introductory video for 2020, I explained that I'm going to do a lot of Paris this year. Miss Legacy requested it and I agreed with her. It's a challenge to me. It's her favorite color, pink, but uh, then again, I think she's getting into a little bit of bling and, and girly girl stuff. So Paris is a place to be if y'all want all that. Anyhow, I'm just going to add a little halo to a little piece and then that's what's going to be on the top of this angel. The rest of this I'm going to use for today's DIY project. So this is a two for one idea. Now I'll glue this on. Just takes a little one, a little bit. It bends. That's what I really liked about it when I first seen it. And I don't know why I didn't buy it that day when I seen it. But... Here you go. Anyhow, today's DIY is about something that you have been used to working with if you made the snowflakes this year or last year and if you made or this year too. And if you followed me on my channel, my top video is how to make a Star David out of the clothes hangers. Well, once again, I mentioned that I want to do Paris this year, so a lot of the things I'm going to try to come up with is going to be um, girly girl, uh, Paris theme, and I came up with an Eiffel Tower. I'm going to call it a Tower of Love. I'm going to show you how to assemble it, and then I'm going to place something in the center here so it can, can become a centerpiece for your table, your coffee table, Valentine's. This will be a Valentine's DIY, however, we can use it all year long because eventually you're going to see in my background and in my um, craft room and throughout my house, a Paris theme started and going on. So I appreciate you stopping in. Today is such a windy day today. Oh my gosh. And uh, you've seen the ceiling fan that I converted into a flower outside just spinning away. I cannot believe for December we have 50 degree weather, rain, winds. I mean the fall has gotten longer and longer in Michigan. Winter usually has been kicking in about January, February. However, in May we've been getting snow the poor tulips trying to pop up into the ground here in April, into May, pop up and then there's snow on the ground. Then it gets cold and I don't think they appreciate that too much, huh? I just noticed through the years living here that it is getting later and later for winter. Fall seems to go on forever. Spring is rarely spring until it's summer and then summer's gone. My favorite time of year is summer. Because then I can get outside and I can do a lot. I can putz around like a Polish person would say. And get things done and get things organized and stuff like that. But And then a garden as well. But, you know, our weather has been very unpredictable here in Michigan. And you know how it is. 
By the way, don't forget to pick yourself up a brand new calendar. This one is a two for one. I can keep one here in the craft room. I can keep one out in my kitchen. And then the squares are big enough for me to write in my doctor's appointments. And I like this. It's called uh, Blossoms. And it has roses and sunflowers. Oh, I'll spring, spring, you know, pictures. And I like that. Even though my calendar is not really shown in my kitchen, but it's there. But I like the idea to have a little backup one, too. So here you go. Pick yourself up one of these. I got this at the Dollar Tree. This is cute, you know, for a dollar. Made by Jot. Now, Jot has a lot of products at Dollar Tree. So, anywho, let's get going with this DIY video and show you how I made this and give you a basic idea. You can run with whatever color you want. Now I'm hoping I can get some good light out here. As you already know what the weather looks like. I'm going to try to come out on my floor here in the living room. But I taught you last year a two-step method and you use that two-step method, okay? And how was, how did it go? Both of the little hooks are facing you, okay? And these are Dollar Tree, these are the large hangers. And then you slide it across, hook it up, and then take it and point it, okay? And there you have it. You need one, two, three, four to make the base. And then you need two more to make the point in the tower. You can also go with two more on the other side of it. But when I looked at it and I did it earlier with the pink one, to me it looked too bulky for an Eiffel Tower. And a tower needs to go upward, but it needs to get thinner. So anyhow, you can do that. I'm showing you on the white ones because this is going to be big, but I can use this for outside in my garden this spring. Or I can keep it in here and create lights around it for Christmas. So anyhow, the two-step, you need that many of them. Then you're going to lay out four of them. And hook them together. In just a minute, I'm going to switch the camera a little bit. You need a lot of room to work with the clothes hanger art. Okay. I'm going to hook them together right in here. Here to here, here to here, here to here. You need four of them. And when you hook them together with the zip tie, then you bring it, stand it up, and then hook it finely and connect it to each other. Then you're going to have a point. Okay. Let's get out a little bit of the zip ties and show you. Like I said earlier, I do not want to use zip ties because they're expensive. And with the pink, they would show. But here with the white, it's no big deal. Now I'll show you what I mean. Because after all, I am going to use this. With the zip tie, when you hook it, you notice how you have a flat part and then you have the, the raised part? You want to go in this way with the flat part. Okay? Put your zip tie on loosely for now. Hook these. There's four of them. So that three zip ties right now. Then you're going to stand it up.
Take your time on it. And there you go. You want to hook it right there. You want to zip tie it. Okay? Now, I recommend to zip tie it in every center. I also recommend to zip tie it right here on the one point to keep it pointed and then right here. So you're looking at on one of the two step. One, two, three. Three zip ties prior to doing this section. And then zip tie right here. Okay. Now once it's zip tied right here, you want to go in and zip tie and connect up here. And remember, they're already zip tied prior, but you want to connect this one to this one. Okay, to keep this form. I don't want to do this right now because I don't want to use all my zip ties and I'm not interested in the large one just yet. I will use fishing line to do this later on. Okay, so zip tie, fishing line, fishing line, fishing line. Then this is where you're going to hook it the second time, the second area. Oh, I see it's already unhooked. See, when you don't pre zip tie them, they will come off, come apart on you. Okay, so here's the point. All right. And you want it to rest right here in between this hook and that hook. And you want to zip tie it right there. See where it's crossing? You want to zip tie it right there and right there. And then you have yourself a point and it's getting narrow. Alright, I hope this is explained. It is very simple. It's just... A lot of zip ties I do not want to use right now and I don't want to use the fishing line to do this because I have other projects to get to people but this is neat if you can come across anything else you can come up with, with this form find me on Facebook and send me a picture of it All right, I can spray paint this later on too with plastic spray paint, Rust-Oleum plastic, if I want to make it pink or gold, silver for the yard. If I ever do get it together this spring and place it out in the yard, or if I keep it and then add lights later on, I'll make another DIY video and I will have everything together. But once again, that's a review. You have to have it out using the two-step. And if you want to see the two-step in more detail, look for the Snowflake video. Look for the Star David video. It's the same process. It's called the two-step by Miss Jones. There you go. You just line it up like that and hook it. And then stand it up. It's a very frugal idea. You've seen it here, so if you share this to your friends and you make your own, remind everyone you found it here at Basha's Coffee and Crafts at Legacy's Little Luxuries Arts and Crafts YouTube. Alright, let's get back to the craft room and let's find out what I'm going to do to create with my pink child's clothes hanger, Tower of Love. I will show you the items I will use to decorate my clothes hanger tower of love uh, Dollar Tree guess what they have this in silver gold pink and white at my Dollar Tree so I picked up the gold one it's styrofoam I'm going to only need one piece the rest I'm going to save for my red truck Valentine's Day centerpieces 
I found the Paris sign and then the Eiffel Tower. Great. So I'm going to use this word. I found these cute little stickers from Crafter Square. I might use these. Not sure. Um, they sell loofah sponges. And I might just wrap that piece of foam in loofah sponge to cover the green up have some florals and various flowers to pick into that styrofoam. I have this cute little LED light. It's a 10 foot mesh rope. Picked up one of those. I might have a little bit of light in there. And then I have some ribbon. Now I'm not necessarily going to use all this stuff. Like I said, I've never made this before. I invite you into my craft room to see how it's all going to come together because I've never made this before and if I make a mistake, I make a mistake. If it's a success, it's a success. If you do not like the colors, that's fine. You're not supposed to like everything somebody else likes anyways. Or we would not be individuals. We would all be the same in a robotic motionless world so anyhow somehow going to create something to place this in here and this is like the outside of it I can decorate it where it says Paris here and then just go around in this area with some of the florals and the lights and then when I'm finished I'll turn off the light and see how it looks remember my craft table is uneven, so you might see this wobble. It doesn't mean it's not straight. It just means my craft table's not completely straight. It's an old events folding table, and it does kind of sink a little bit. So, you know, always remember that if you see things rocking. But, yeah, all this is from the Dollar Tree. Let's put this together. I'll put it together and then just see what I come up with give you a basic idea and this is a lot of fun on this windy day in Bay City, Michigan and subscribe to my channel please oh yeah look at this I took the Dollar Tree heart frame I found an old metal cake pan and then some old leftover loop-de-loop -loop yarn from my angel and I made a heart for the girls' room. Isn't that neat? No DIY on that, so. And there's Michigan. There's the paint pour that Miss Legacy made a few years back. And she placed a flower where we live in Bay City, Michigan. Well, it's getting blurry when I zoom up. Okay, let's get going on this project. It's going to look. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to head to Ace Hardware. Get me another pack. $15 pack of AA batteries. Okay, so the Dollar Tree. Valentine's Road Light. Takes two AA batteries. Okay. Now what I want to do is hide it inside the foam right here. So that this can lay flat in the center. I was going to place that on a plate. And then I decided not to. Because I would have to buy an extra. I'd have to buy a plate. And I do not have a plate. I want to keep this frugal. Minimalistic is what I can do this year. Okay. I'm on a budget. I'm disabled. 
I'm fully retired and all my money's gone. So if you want to hook me up and think I'm rich. <laughs> I wish, huh? Anyhow, I'm going to try to cut a little square out so I can place the square up inside that piece of foam and then go from there. And so far I just wrapped the, the, this side with that loofah sponge. It gives it that little sheen satin look. Of course there's that craft wire and then the gold. Okay, all I did was just use my little paring knife and cut a square so at least it's flushed on the bottom here, okay? Just hidden away. And then I can use this to wrap hopefully around twice. Yep, it looks like it'll wrap twice. All right, there we go. I think that's all I need. I don't even think I need any flowers. Alrighty, now the thing is, is a little bit of hot glue. And where am I going to place the hot glue without burning the light? First of all, this is my front. I need to make this just a little bit tighter so it goes around and then comes back around again. These are cute. I picked up a couple of these. It's different. Alright, so it did get around to my front. Now, find some hot glue and then Add a dab to this area right here. Let it sit for a second. Don't want to hot glue any other part of this because it is light. But enough just to make sure that it's wound around. hold on to it for a little bit and you could place it up here too if you want ready so yeah but I have this left whoa so I have this left over okay hot glue you just don't want to stay with this loofah sponge, do you? I have to get out my fabric tack. Because I will. It's my favorite glue. Let's try this again. Or I could get a pin. I have a lot of pins. I could pin this light into the styrofoam. We'll see. Hmm. I'm keeping the light on so in case it does burn out on me if I accidentally hot glue it and then it burns out. I I wanna know if I did did, you know, destroy it or not. <laughs> Alrighty, I guess I'm going to have to hunt up some pins, but yeah, it stayed. It's because when it's in the box, it's all wound up. So maybe you want to stretch it out a little bit before you start applying your lights when you're buying these types. Okay, because it's going to go right back into the, the form it was in when it's inside the box. So there you go. I think that's what I want for my center. And now I have to find that Paris sign and place it right across the center here and go from there.
Cute. Well, as you know, the computer is not in my craft room any longer. I placed it out here for Miss Legacy. And I also used a Paris theme tablecloth. And now she has a cute little nightlight that says Paris. We're well on our way to the Paris theme, folks, this year. And with Dollar Tree items. I hope they come out with a little bit more. And here we go. We have the clothes hangers, the little LED light rope, the Paris wording with the rose. I placed the rose right there. You have your Eiffel Tower, whatever color you want, and then that craft fuzzy stick. That was cute. I used it for an angel halo, and I'm using it for this. There you go. Miss Legacy's really going to like this when she stops in. I send my blessings out from my family and from me to you and your family and your pets. Stay healthy. Take a load off and watch another one of my videos. Grab yourself a cup of coffee. Click on another video. You can watch my videos on your big screen TV or on your phone. I have other ideas from the past. But this year will be geared towards pink and Paris and bling and whatever. Slowly but surely. Take care. This is Basha, signing off.